What's going on? What's going on, everybody? How are you guys doing? I'm on the Barima River here in region number one, Barima Waini. And I'm giving you guys a little tour. Look at these youngsters. Of this area here. This is a marijuana area. They have a lot of folks living here, man. The Waros, these are migrants from Venezuela. This is the Venezuela border, actually. We are heading to the Venezuela border with Guyana, about five miles from here. I'm gonna give you guys a tour in a moment. Hope you guys are doing okay. Being positive, just a little, you know, sneak peek of what's happening right now. I'm in the Northwest District. For a week, and I have tons of videos for you guys, alright? Hope you're doing okay, being positive. Let's celebrate, let's enjoy. Better adventure. You have more than like 10 here, man. What a creek name? Yeah. Where do I live? The creek. Oh, Smith Creek. Smith Creek. Yeah, we Smith Creek. Yeah, and then the marijuana, yeah. So, giving you guys a little tour of Smith Creek, marijuana. See across here, you have. I think I step on across here as well. You know, I just want to show you guys how these people live, man. These are the Waros. The tribe of the Amerindian. There's nine Amerindian tribes. This is one of them. They mainly settle in the Orinoco River, which borders Guyana and Venezuela. And of because you know Venezuela is facing some economical hardship, you know most of these folks migrated over here to Guyana, the Guyana side. They were trying to survive, you know. Fish. <laughs> nice, nice. I'll give you a little tour of this area, you know, Smith Creek, Marijuana. And then we head now to the Bardo between Venezuela and Guyana. See these things in the Philippines, man. When I see YouTube videos, people living on the water, boy. Look at this here. Wow. Wow, just wow view eyes. It's hard breaking to see them living in this kind of condition, you know. So it's really sad. It is Smith Creek. You know, Black Boy always telling about Smith Creek. Some of his workers are from here. I just want to show you guys how these folks live. We're back to Smith Creek here right now. Yeah, we're giving you a tour of Smith Creek, marijuana area. Marijuana is the village or the river? The village. The village. There's a marijuana village here. And the creek is called Smith Creek. I have to wash it up some clothing there, boy. Wow. People are really poor here, man. Living in unimaginable conditions. And you know, the rainy season is really hard for them, you know. The wet season is always bad for the people living in the rivering area. I mean, it's good for farmers in the coastlands. But not here in the river in area. These people who live on the riverbanks always got water. 
from the river. Because if you notice something, they always settle by the creeks where the sweet water is. So they don't have to worry about water. Beautiful as can be, man. Beautiful Smith Creek. <laughs> wow. That's a big house, though. A lot of folks in there, man. So you boys are living in here? Yeah. Why don't live by the house? That house. Yeah, that house, okay. Why don't you work, man? Yeah, I'm Alex. Lives. Alex. Oh, nice, nice. So why don't you work, man, live here, you know? So Captain Black Boy actually employed some of them fellas, you know. And that's a good thing he did. I, I mean, I wish more of the boat owners and captains can, you know, recruit these guys, you know, employ them. From this part of the region, this part of Guyana. So to give them. The crab Say again? Crab factory. Crab? A crab factory that processed the crab there? The clothes on? Oh. So you start a process and plant there for the for crabs, actually crab meat. Okay, okay. Wow, there's another house going up here, boy. Alright. Look a lot of chicken under there, boy. <laughs> it's waterproof, it's alright. <laughs> My GoPro is waterproof, don't you worry. <laughs> if the phone falls down, then we got a problem. Oh so this is the end of the cricket like? Look, you got a lot of banana and plant in tree over there. Yeah, over here, the last. The last part. Oh, that's the end of like, the creek. I hear them rooster crowing that way. We can eat some, hey, we can eat some, some, some chicken curry, you know why? It's a rooster curry. <laughs> so they used to process the crabs here for the crab meat. Back then. All right. So this is the end of the creek, basically. Or have a little bit more, but it becomes narrow down that point. So you can turn around at this point, friend. Capo. We out of gas or what? Hey, so the journey continues. Man. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> Isn't it? For me, this is beauty. The surrounding, but however, the lifestyle here is heartbreaking. But I just love the water. Y'all know I love water, the waterways. You know, I can transform this to, you know, if you can get some good housing, you know, these houses need a sink and, you know, just up these people's standard of living, you know. I would love to see them up their standard of living and have a better lifestyle. People are living in these houses without walls. Some of them have Why leaves. Leroy. Leroy live there? Okay, okay. Why don't you work, huh? Leaves. What are you cooking there, man? Chicken curry? <laughs> You shake me ass there, man. She's not shy for the camera. That's nice. You got across the. Um, <laughs> yeah, the captain belongs to this village, man. They're giving us a grand tour across here. So we're crossing over the river. And there's Barima River still, right? Barimo. Barima River here still. Good. Barima River, we're crossing over the Barima River here. I see Guyana Revenue Authority on the side board here. Right here, GRA. So you have customs down here, Marta Patrol, which is nice, you know, monitoring what goes in and comes out of Guyana. And this building is something here too. Is it police? I'm not sure. I don't know. Get closer. Or if it's immigration. That's what the army base or police? There's a police outpost. Police, police and army down here. Army and you got GRA like that. Oh, customs. So you have, you have the military guys, you have the police, and you have um, customs. Oh, you have the Coast Guard boat and thing here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even see this all the thing. Look at that. So this is another point here, you know. The Guyana Coast Guard there, you know. Have a lot of boats. I got some nice 200 there, boy. Got some other boat too. Miss Priya. 
Gotta buy bunk there, man, in the boat. Wow. It's an inboard, right? Yeah. So this is the other side of the river here. You have General Notice Transport and Harbor Department. Marijuana Stellin. Oh, so marijuana have a Stellin? Oh, so we'll see where I come from Georgetown. You stop here, then go to Kamaka. Yeah, oh, you go to. Oh, Ankai. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you have one steamer that goes to Marwa, uh, to Kumako, oh, one and one goes to Kaituma. Yeah. But both of them are going to stop here. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Understand. Yeah. You got Sea Spirit. Nice big boat there, white. This was school? Yeah. Marijuana school. I'm getting a lot of blur vision from the camera, man, when I record in high quality, high resolution. We're heading down river right now to the river mouth, well, down river to the point where Diana and Venezuela meet. So join me and let me continue the adventure. Are you see? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Wow, oh, them kids taking a shower there, man. <laughs> These are all poor families, man, you know, living here. Ah, the cooking there, boy. Look at that. So small, eh? and they could take care of themselves. You put the coastlanders to do this, they can't survive out here in the wilderness. Never. Wow, so 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 beautiful. You know, this is the Imbatero Creek, Imbatero River, or village. This is the border with. Um, Venezuela. We're taking a stroll through here and all drive through. The rain falling, man, but it's so beautiful. Look at the amount of folks that live in one of these cabins, man. You know, so many people, a lot of children, you know. And these are the Waro tribes, you know, the Amerindian tribes. You have nine Amerindian tribes Arawa, Carib, Waros. Patamonas, Wapishiana, Waiwai, Makushi, you know, all different things. I can't remember if Kanai is any. It is nine though. So we're passing through the river here and, you know, I'm giving you guys a little tour how modest the people are living here. These guys, the Waros, most of them relocated from Venezuela, the Orinoco River in Venezuela, and they came here to Guyana border. You gotta paddle out the floats in the there. You gotta come to the Guyana border here, you know, seeking refuge. Of course, you all know Venezuela having some issue, economical um, issues. So, and a lot of folks would have migrated here over to the Guyana side of the border. We are literally less than a quarter mile away from Venezuela. When I exit the creek, I'm gonna show you where the border is. You could also see in my other video, I went close to the police outpost, the checkpost, the checkpoint, and show the border.
people are living so humble here. You know, it leaves me to wonder what does these people do for a living, you know, apart from farming and fishing, hunting. I don't know what else to do. Not much opportunities are here. I know some of them work on the fishing vessel. I don't know what else are there for them to do. So if, you know, these guys get jobs, of course, you know, they can take care of themselves and their families. Now I guess they're just surviving day by day. Auntie Washington blows them on. Of course, I got the individual to them on. I'm a captain at the back there. Alright? This is life. Me and them. Northwest District, region number one. Then I have 10 administrative regions. We're in region number one. I'm exploring, all right? So far, I'm loving it. Except for the, these sites here, man. The condition that these people are living under, you know? Heartbreaking conditions, man, you know? Sad to see them like this. Very, very sad. Little, little houses, you know? The good thing with these guys, they have a smile on their faces, man. Nothing bothers them. All right? Nothing seems to be bothering them. Now, when we come out of the creek here into the river, this is the Barima River here. Let me show you where the police outpost to my right. The police outpost is... Boy, you can't see it, but it's... About just across there. That's Venezuela showing there. The piece of land there between the river here. That angle, that's Venezuela. The camera is not zooming in up clearly. Yeah. Oh look look at the two um bar the uh, outpost here. The one to the left in Guyana, the one to the right is Venezuela. Like right in front here, alright? This is the Guyana Bank. These guys are living on our bank. Side now. We're heading back to Marijuana. That's another village up river. We're gonna team up back with the boats, you know, the other fellas with the big boat. Then we're heading back to Kamako. Man, them fellas having fun in the water there with the Creal man, the canoe or dog out. But this man here also got one there too, you see. You know, it requires a special set of skills to do what these boys are doing. Wow. Everybody got a dog out here, boy. You know, you get these from the trees. You know, you cut a large tree, a big tree, and you just dig it out, all right? And you make it into a little boat. We're picking up the workers in here. And we're heading out back to Mabaruma. Kumaka. This is beautiful, man. Wow. Kids taking a dip in the water. It's afternoon, you know, five o'clock. So them, everybody taking the um, the afternoon shower. And our tour guide today with the boat. The man lived down here, the greenhouse. You know, and I love how this man decorate the place, hey, buddy. Really awesome, man. Really looking good. Imagine sipping some beers atop there, that way. 
नाक समथिंग ने वहां सही भाई लाइफ के आगे बेहतर ना भाई ए इफ यू नाक टू बियर पर ना लांदे ना बी रियल नाइस भाई विद सम फ्राई फिश सी लाइफ क्यों लाइफ कुड नेवर गेट बेटर देन दैट अनदर दे वी कम का नाक ऑफ बियर डोंट वरी लुक एट दिस ट्री यंग लेडीज हियर पैडल एंड शूट इवे फॉर Tomorrow we head now to Shell Beach. All right. We're gonna play some cricket and cook and you know picnic. We continue in the journey. Back to Kumaka. The Lakdalis, big boats, see why. <laughs> and fellas park up there you know playing some cards you know probably just had dinner man got nice gates there boy man do anything there boy it's fried fish you know Fried fish this afternoon. Fish and bread or fish and chip. We're cruising in right now to Kumaka. Just leave Marawana. So what you're gonna see next is a lot of trees on both sides of the river, boat banks. For another hour, or hour and 50 minutes, and then we're gonna reach up the houses on both sides of the banks. Wow. Look at the amount of scar that I miss. Going home there right now, boy. They're far away. I didn't get a close shot with them, but at least you can see a little of them there. That's the scar that I miss. All them boys call curry curry now, eh? The journey continues up river. Captain Black boy saw something amazing and he turned the boat around. just so that i can show you guys look at that now that is not apples in a tree those are all birds curry curry or what we call scar scarlet ibis look at that boy wow just simply amazing so beautiful can life get any better than that i guess not beautiful man beautiful birds what the <laughs> life is amazing yeah. Now you have parrots flying home there right now. I'm breathing here. These are all these are all parrots. You can hear how they're making the, the songs going there, man. Parrots, parrots. I'm, we are so lucky to be seeing all these birds. Leon Moore, you think you're the only bird, man? Looky, I is the newest bird, man. By the way. What is the name of these parrots though? <laughs> I don't sure if you if you was on this trip with me, you were to tell me the name of these parrots. Yellowing, yellowing parrot, I think. Or orange wing parrot, I can't remember. Okay, I have different species of parrot, but we say parrot, parrot we refer to refer to all the parrots. We have different ones. I know you told me there is the orange wing or something like that. There's so many passing at the top there now but hardly have a visual. You can hear the songs, look. Like they got a war or look, what going on there? They got a board, like they got a sleep here. Yeah, they're circling around here. You can hear all the noise but the, the vision is not good at all with the camera. Yeah, what you look at that. Look how many of them out there. 
The iPhone 14 getting glitches right now. The recording in the sky is not seen clear. Look, these are all parrots. And lots, you know. It's a lot of parrots, man. Like, more, maybe a thousand? It's a lot, it's a lot. Never seen so much parrots at one time. One. Never. In the meantime, look, you got a chef there, boy. Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> the man is a big chef, you know. He frying snapper there. And trout. The boy used to cook, you know. Alright. Can life get any better than this, eh? I guess not. We are somewhere in region one that borders Venezuela. All right, we're heading back to Kumako. That's where we're gonna be spending a night. Tomorrow we're heading to Shell Beach. I'm gonna show you that on another adventure. For now, we're heading back to Kumako. We're gonna last we fry fish, we're gonna knock two cool things. Hey, and we're gonna celebrate the evening or what's left of the evening. We are almost here at Kumaka. Now that up there is Mabaruma up the hill there. That's where the airport is. Where we came in two days ago. Well, not two days ago. Yesterday was just Saturday. Today is Sunday. We are here two days now. Look how beautiful Kwaka land it looks. Wow, the lights are turning on there right now. You know, across here you have a house. Look how beautiful it looks, boy. Oh, wow. What a front by property. Something to retire to. beautiful bad you know you just have to come and discover it for yourself see it for yourself the boats boy a lot, a lot of boats now up there you have the Warrows living. Okay. Some of them living here as well. At Kumaka Junction here, Kumaka Landing. The ferry normally come here. That's the stelling there, the ferry stelling. Kumaka ferry stelling. Kumaka real nice one. But it's kinda of quiet today, so on the night it's quiet man. Last night, you know, I had some vibes. Saturday night so we're gonna pack up right here and why just spend the night out here we on land back to land or back to art we had in true by the shop up ahead there the place kind of quiet tonight man Nothing much happening. Hey, hey, good night, buddy. Nothing much happening here on the landing tonight. You know, if it was Friday night or Saturday Chinese night. Oh, the Chinese market? Uh -huh. Can I be a Chinese man? A Chinese friend? Yeah, yeah, we can be a Chinese supermarket. Yeah, we're gonna get um, some stuff by the. Is it Chinese here or no? No. It's got a little store here, convenience store. We get some stuff. Huh. Oh, barbecue chicken, okay, chicken. Oh, nice. Plantain too. You have plantain? Ready? Yeah, fry some plantain for you there. Yeah, yeah, and cheese with it. 
No, no, just no, planting. Just planting. Let me see. So we get this a nice planting from this beautiful young lady here. All right. So we get this a kumaka planting there right now. We already get a fish from the boat. We come with my Chinese friend here now. All right. Ni hao, ni hao, ma. Ni hao. Ni hao, ni hao. Hello, hello, hello my friend. Man, no get Banks beer. We come by Banks beer. No Banks beer. <laughs> How you doing, man? Yeah. All right. So you get all convenient stuff here, man. Yeah, it's iPhone 14, man. Yeah. Real clean. Real, real clean. <laughs> yeah. Can the fish get any fresher than this? This fish is swimming in the Atlantic. Wow. Yesterday. And look right there, boy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Can life get any better than this? I guess not, boy. Hey, cheers to life, boy. You got me, Captain Lee? Eh? It's party time, you know. We got boat kind of party or, or river kind of party right now. <laughs> cheers, boy. River kind of party. Hope y'all enjoyed the little tour with me. We're gonna knock a couple cup of beer. We can get some sleep. Thank Tomorrow you. is a, not a brand new day. Mine. So, we're gonna do we thing here. We're gonna chit chat. We're gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. I wanna thank you for the privilege of your time. Take care of each other. God bless you. Peace out. Tomorrow is another adventure. So we're going to see you on the next adventure. All right.